Hi everybody, my name is Dominique if you are new here and welcome to my channel where I am documenting my life as a first time homeowner. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a Dollar Tree haul. And this is going to be a pretty big Dollar Tree haul because I have these two bags that are full of stuff and I also have things around me. So I have everything sorted into categories of like, like office decor, toys, stuff like that. So let's get into what I got. So we're going to start with the stuff that's in the bags first. All right. So the first category we're going to start with is pet stuff, which is kind of fitting because my dog's right here. Anyway. All right. So the first thing that I got is this giant treat holder and it says pets turn a house into a home. And it has like flowers on the top and it's kind of got like a like a like the black part is like soft on the lid so it's easy it's like flexible and i've seen um dog treat holders at or pet treat holders at the dollar tree before but they're always been the small ones like this and i've never seen a big one like this so i guess this is supposed to be a food jar but i'm going to use it for treats so i thought this was really cool because it was really big and it'll fit a ton of treats all right so the next thing in related to pets is this water dispensing bowl so you like fill this up with water and then they like drink it from here and then the water just like keeps coming out until it's empty i thought this would be good to like put outside so it can like he can drink from it and it can keep filling up as he's playing outside and i don't have to like keep going inside to get him more water so i thought i would try this out it is kind of small and i do have a pretty big dog so i don't know how well it'll work but i thought i would pick it up and give it a try all right, so that is all I got in like the pet related stuff. So the rest of the stuff in this bag is craft stuff. Okay, so the first thing that I got in the craft section is stencils. I got um, like marine animals. I got stars. I got letters and they have some shapes at the bottom. I got this like travel one. And then I got flowers. And I got these because I've been really into bullet journaling lately and I'm a terrible drawer. So I picked up some of these to like add to my bullet journal and I thought these would be good for like, like spring and summer. I'm also my, I have the worst handwriting ever. So some letters and like travel. So I just picked some of these up to use for my bullet journal. And the next thing that I got to go along with my bullet journal are these two they're for planners, but I thought I could use them in my journal. And they're these two like packs of planner stickers. The first one is the watercolor pack and they're by the Happy Planner. And there's 1,078 pieces in this pack. And it has like a ton of different stickers. And I just thought this was really cool, especially for a dollar. And this would be like perfect for journaling or for the bullet journal. I mean, for plan for a planner or for a bullet journal. And then the other one that I got is this seasonal pack. And it has 1,557 stickers. And it has, like, like, Halloween, Easter, um, just, like, plain ones that say, like, remember this. And stuff like that and it has like Christmas this is Halloween but I know it has Christmas in here in summer so I just thought I would pick these up for my bullet journal okay the next thing that I got is this crafter square roll cutter or roller cutter which I think I shared this in a previous Dollar Tree haul it was like my massive Dollar Tree haul I'll link it up here or in the description box if you're interested but I lost it so I picked up another one Right, and then the next thing that I got are these metal tags. Now, I don't really know what I'm going to do with them, but I have seen these like all over Instagram and TikTok and YouTube, and I've never seen them in my Dollar Tree. So when I found them today, I like needed to pick them up. So it's a three pack of metal tags. All right, and then the next thing that I got in the Crafter Square section, which is really random, but I've never seen it there before. So I decided, I'm just, I decided to share it 
It is this um, pack of glitter glue. And I got this because I'm a teacher and I teach pre-K. So my preschoolers love glitter, but I hate glitter because it makes a giant mess. So I thought this would be fun for them to do like a little craft with. And it'd be less messy than actual glitter. And I've never seen like packs of glitter glue like this at the Dollar Tree. So I picked some up for my kids. All right, so the next thing that I got from the crafting section are these two little like wooden box drawer things. And the reason I got these is because I saw a craft from, I think it was Bargain Bethany here on YouTube or a DIY from her where she did like, she made like drawers from Dollar Tree things. And I thought it was really cool. And the reason I decided I wanted to do it is because I picked up these decorative knobs from the Dollar Tree. I bought these on this trip and they're not from the crafting section, but they go along with this. But I got these decorative knobs and I've seen them there for like months. And I've always wanted to pick them up, but I have no use for them in my house. But I think they're like super cute. So when I saw her DIY, she like glued knobs onto like a drawer and like made a drawer set. So I decided to pick two of these up and then I'm gonna glue the knobs onto this to like make a little like drawer thing. So I picked those two things up. All right, and then the next thing I got from the crafting section is this multi-spray glue. And the reason I got this is because I have a purse that I'm wearing to my friend's, or I'm bringing to my friend's wedding. It was over here. I was seeing if I could find it to grab it. But it's um like a glittery purse and it sticks to my dress. So I got this to see if I could like spray the glitter and like give it like a coating over it to see if it won't stick. I don't know. I wanted to try it out. So I picked this up to try that. All right. And then the last thing that I got from the crafters section are these magnetic buttons. And I picked these up for another DIY. So what I'm going to do with those is I'm going to make a doormat for my front door with like, like a like layered look one. So I got this like welcome mat and then I got these two like rugs and I'm going to like glue the two rugs together or like sew them together and then put the like welcome mat on top of it. So it gives like this layered look, but these are like really thin and I'm afraid they're going to blow away. <laughs> Sorry, my dog has a squeaky toy. I'm afraid they're gonna blow away. So I picked up some of these magnets and I'm gonna like glue them on the corners to like give some extra weight to these things so they don't blow away. That's everything that I got in the crafting section. So we're gonna go into this other bag. All right, so everything in this bag is like decor. So the first thing that I picked up is this little welcome sign. It's a little truck with like an American flag in the background or in the bed of the truck. And it says welcome and it's like a little metal sign and I just thought this would be a little cute thing to put on my door for like Memorial Day which is tomorrow but that's not the point and like the 4th of July so I just picked this up and then the next thing I found in the decor section are these like little geode table decors or it table decor is what it said that's why I said that but it's just like this little picture of a geode and it, it's like wooden and I just thought it was really cute and I, they had three different color or four, three other colors of this. They had this purple one. They had a dark blue. They had like a greenish blue and they had a black, but I got the purple one. All right. So the next thing that I picked up in the like decor section is this little, I don't really know what you would call this, like a picture holder. It's like a circle. Hang on, I'll open it so it, there's less of a glare from the light. All right, so it's like a wire, a metal wire circle, and it has these little like clips, and you can like clip pictures to it, so you can like hang this up. It came in the black that I got, and then there was also a white one, but I picked up the black one, and I just thought this was kind of cute and like a nice way to display pictures, and I think I'm going to use it in my office. All right, and then the last like Oh, there's two more decor items, actually. But the next decor item I got is this little ceramic camera. I just thought this would be super cute in, like, the background of videos. Once I get my... Usually, 
well, actually the last couple of months I've been filming in my living room, but I have a filming area in my office, which is upstairs. My stairs are right behind me. That's why I'm pointing up. And I kind of want to redo it because right now it's just a giant mess, which is why I've been filming in my living room. So I thought this would be super cute to put in the background of videos. And it even has like the details on the back. So I picked that up. All right. And then the last thing that I got or that I saw in the decor section, which I picked this up a couple days ago. I didn't get this today, but I did get it at the Dollar Tree. So I decided I'd share it, which is why it's out of its packaging. But it's this letter board. So it came in black and then it also came in a gray one and it comes with 50 letters. I just wrote Jonas Brothers lyrics on mine, but it was a dollar for a letter board. Now, what I would recommend is you don't get that many letters. So it's kind of hard to write like big phrases on there. So I would recommend picking up two, but I only got the one. But if I see them again, I'm definitely going to get another one so I can have more letters. All right, so that was the last decor item. So now we're gonna get into like miscellaneous items that are kind of like decor. All right, so the first thing that I found is this round serving tray. And it's just, it's like got scalloped edges and it's like a little serving tray. And I thought this would be perfect for like summer parties to like put the food on and like bring it outside. So I picked one of these up. And then I got two of these magnets that are for your dishwasher and like one side says clean and the other side says dirty. And this one is like, it's just like wood and like it just says clean and dirty. And then this one is a dirty, like a dog that's muddy and then a dog that's clean. I couldn't decide which one I wanted so I picked up both. But they did have two other kinds that said clean and dirty but these were the ones I liked. So I got them. All right, and then the next like miscellaneous thing are these self-adhesive wall tiles. And I picked up two of them and I've seen these there before, but I've never seen this pattern. And they're like kind of like a marbly pattern. And I thought this would be really good because I want to like kind of redo my bathroom like vanity area, but I don't really want to like spend a ton of money to do it. So I got some of these to try out and put in my bathroom, which I'm doing a bathroom redo video that should be coming out sometime in the summer. So these will be in there so you'll be able to see how these work out. So I picked those up, so subscribe if you wanna see that. All right, so that's it with the like miscellaneous things. So now we're gonna move into the graduation stuff. I run my after school program at my school that I work at. And two of my employees are graduating high school this year, so I'm gonna give them like a little gift. So I picked up some of the stuff from the graduation section. So the first thing I got, I got two because I have two employees that are graduating. I got two of these like class of 2021 little like decor items. And they're like, like you can put a picture on the top. So I got two of those, I thought those were cute. And then I also picked up these little wands. These are kind of dumb, but <laughs> I thought they were cool. So I decided to pack, pick them up. They're a pack of four and they say congrats grad and they have like little um, tassels thingies or like ribbons. That's what they're called. They have ribbons on the bottom and it has a graduation cap. I just thought they were cool. So I'm just going to throw these into their little gift. And then the last thing in the graduation section I got are these um, lanyards. They just say uh, 2021 grad with a graduation cap. Just thought these were a cute little gift. And I know when I was in college... I kept my dorm keys on a lanyard, so I thought this would be a useful thing for them for college. All right, so that's it with the graduation stuff. So now we're going to move on to toys. I got two things from the toy section. So the first thing I got is this giant ball. It's actually not that giant, but it's pretty big for the Dollar Tree. I, like I just said, run the aftercare program in my school, and now that it's getting warmer, we've been playing outside a lot more, and the kids love balls, but somehow we lose them all the time so I buy Dollar Tree balls all the time for them but usually they're like this big like they're pretty small so when I found this I like had to pick it up because it's a pretty big size and I know they're gonna love it so I just got this ball and then the second and the last toy that I got is this dart board and it's like like not velcro these are velcro and then like this is like 
fabric so you can like throw the balls like a dartboard and it's like a fabric or it's like a it's like a dartboard so you can play a little game and the reason I got this is because I'm gonna I'm like redoing my basement which is also gonna be an upcoming video no idea when that one's gonna happen though but it will be in the future so subscribe if you want to see that but I'm redoing my basement and I want to make like a little like hangout game area and I thought this would be perfect to put in there and it's pretty big for only a dollar all right so that's it for the toys so now we're going to move on to like the outdoor stuff. All right. So the first thing I got in the outdoor stuff are these two little solar steak lights. And they're like kind of like spotlights. And I got these because my dog likes to go to the bathroom in the most inconvenient spot in my yard. And he's like hidden behind um, this like fire thing I have in my backyard. And I can never see him at night so I'm gonna like put these back there so I can like see where he is at night so I picked up two of those and then the next thing I got is this citronella scented tiki torch fuel and I got this because I bought a um like little tiki thing I'll insert a picture right here from Target for like outside and I was going to buy this stuff to go with it, but it was like $12 at Target. And the Tiki Torch thing was only 5 So what I was planning on doing was I was going to take the like Tiki Torch like thingy, like the thing you light out and put in my citronella incense that I bought in the la that I showed in the last Dollar Tree haul. If you haven't seen that, you should check it out. I was going to put that in there, but then I found this at the Dollar Tree, and I know there's there's less in here than what you would get at Target, but I figured for a dollar, I would pick it up and give it a try, so I got some of this, and then the next thing I got is really random, and I don't honestly know what it is, but it's called a soaker hose, and it kind of looks like a sprinkler. It's like a hose with like a bunch of holes in it, and you, I'm assuming, use it to water your yard. But I picked this up to use as like a sprinkler because like I just thought this would be like a nice thing to like have like to lay out in the sun and like tan and like have this like next to you so you can kind of like use it to get cold. I don't know. I thought it looked cool so I decided to pick it up. All right and then the last thing that I got in the like outdoor section are coconut liners which if you saw my last... Dollar Tree video I picked up like a hanging plant thing for my front yard but they didn't and it you have to use coconut liners in it but they didn't have any there so then I bought one at Lowe's but it was like the one that the basket is it uses a 10 inch coconut liner and the smallest one you could get at Lowe's was 14 inches so I got one that you could like cut but it was like six dollars so when I went today I saw these these coconut liners so I decided to pick them up so I don't have to cut my coconut liner and mess it up so I got two of those all right so now we'll move on to electronics so I got two things in the electronic department and the first thing I got is this safe and healthy disinfecting UV light and I got one of these at um five below a couple months ago and it's, I think it's kind of cool and it's great. Like it says on here, it's great for travel. It says on the back, great for travel because you can just like throw this in your bag and then like disinfect things like that you feel the need to disinfect. And I had seen these on TikTok over like last summer at the Dollar Tree, but I could never find them. And then I went today and they were there. So I picked one of these up. And then the only other thing that I got from the electronic department is this movie, Eloise, which I absolutely love this movie. I actually have it. It's right here. I already have it and I spent a lot of money for it. Like it was like $12 that I bought that movie for. And like, I love horror movies. This entire shelf right here is horror movies. So when I saw this here, or at the Dollar Tree, I like needed to buy it. And what I'm gonna do with this copy, since I already have a copy, is I'm gonna leave this copy at my parents' house so I can watch it whenever I'm over there. And if you like horror movies, I highly recommend it. Also, it has Chase Crawford in it, AKA Nate Archibald. So if you're a fan of Gossip Girl, also highly recommend it. 
So I just had to pick up another copy of it because I love this movie so much. Anyways, Eloise ran over. All right, moving on. We'll go into like the like food category. So the first thing I bought in like the kitchen food category is this hamburger patty press. And I got this because my dad makes like homemade hamburgers a lot because my mom likes them. But I don't like the thick ones that he makes. So I decided to pick this up to try to make thinner ones. I don't really know. I saw it and decided to get it. So that's what I got there. And then the next like food related thing I got are is this Disney Princesses Cup and it has Cinderella, Moana, Mulan, Ariel, Belle, and Rapunzel on it. And it also has like Cinderella's Castle, Rapunzel's Castle, it has Mrs. Potts. I'm a huge Disney fan and I like these cups to drink. My I drink exclusively iced coffee. So I drink, I like these to drink my coffee out of in the morning. So I picked up another one because I thought this was cute with all the Disney princesses. And then the last thing I picked up in like the like food section are these two pa I got two two packs of tumblers and I got this light blue one that says summer vibes with a pineapple and then I got this dark blue one that says life's a beach enjoy the waves and I picked these up because well I picked this pack up for myself and honestly the reason I got this one is because I love Luke Bryan and his new song waves is like my current obsession so when I saw that it said enjoy the waves I like had to get them I use these cups for water in the summer and usually these are like like at Starbucks these are like five dollars for one so for a dollar for a two pack I thought it was a good deal and then I picked up this pack because I'm gonna um give one to each of my employees that are graduating all right and then the last thing that I got in like the food section I might have said that those cups were the last thing but I lied <laughs> this is the last thing that I got in the food section I got these three napkin holders and the reason I got these is because I saw on YouTube that these fit acrylic paints perfectly. So I picked up three of these and I'm going to use these to store my acrylic paints when, when I redo my office. So I picked up those. All right. So that is the last thing in the food section. So now moving on to like the health, beauty, makeup, hair, that type of section. All right, so the first thing that I picked up are these Goody Medium Claw Clips. And I like these to like when I straighten my hair or I'll like pull my hair back and like clip it. So I just picked up some more of those, especially because these are like $4 at Target. And this is a name brand. All right, and then the next thing that I got are these Frozen, these are really random. <laughs> are these frozen hair ties and they have it's a four pack the top one has Anna and then two snowflakes and then this one's Elsa the white one here is Elsa it's really hard to see because of the ring light but I picked these up because I love frozen and I'm going to Disney World at the end of June so I just figured that these would be like a cute little touch to wear in my hair because I know I'll have my hair up the entire time because it's hot in Florida at the end of June. So just decided to pick them up. And then going off of the like frozen Florida or Disney World thing, I picked up this Frozen 2 headband. And I know this is for a little girl, but it, and it has this bow with Elsa on it. And the reason I got that, this, is because I saw these, which this is called the Donut Plush Headband, and this is $2 from Five Below, and I thought that these would be the perfect thing to make mini ears out of, so I'm going to cover these in a fabric, and then I'm going to use this as, like, the bow in the center and, like, make my own frozen Disney ears, so we'll have to see how that'll work, but... I thought I would pick this up because I thought it would be the perfect bow to use to make Disney ears. And like I said, I didn't get this from Five Below or from the Dollar Tree. I had to share it though because it goes along with this. I got this at Five Below if you're interested. Anyways, back to Dollar Tree stuff. So the next thing that I got from the, like the health beauty area is this little 
wristlet and I thought this was super cute and especially for a dollar it's pretty good quality it's like a fake leather and it has this little mini pouch here and then it has this like bigger pouch here and I thought that this would be like a perfect little like summer wristlet like throw your stuff in it and then you can just like take this with you when you go out or like vacation and like it fits perfectly on your wrist so I thought I would pick one up and then the next thing I got in the health beauty area is this um these bra converting clips which what you can do with them is you can like take them and like hook your bra straps together in the back so if you're wearing like a razorback shirt you don't see your bra clap clasps and I thought this was a really good idea and I've never seen it that I've seen these before but I've never seen them at the Dollar Tree so I decided to pick them up and give them a try especially with summer coming up this will be a good thing so your bra straps aren't showing and also for tan lines like I hate when I'm wearing a razor back and like I get the tan lines from my bra strap and then the tan lines from the razor back so I figured I would give these a try and then the next thing I got from that section are these snap clips which I use these to like clip my hair up a lot of the time to get like the front pieces out of my face when I'm working and I like to use brown ones that match my hair so I just picked up a pack that had the brown ones in it. I lose these all the time so to get these for a dollar was a great deal. And then I also picked up this little pack of hair clips and it has this like tortoiseshell one and then a gold one. And I just thought these were cute and I wear my hair half up half down a lot so to like clip this in the top of the ponytail in the back. I thought that was a good thing or uh, these would be good for that. All right, and then the next thing I got from the health and beauty section is really random and it's this expandable massager so it like you can like pull it out and it like like to massage, I don't know. I saw it and decided I wanted to try it out, so I did. <laughs> All right, and then there's four more things from the health and beauty section. So the next thing I got are these two little frozen magic towels. I picked these up for my employees that are graduating. I'm just going to throw these in their little thing. I mean, you can never have enough washcloths for like dishes or to take your makeup off or whatever you need them for in college. So I just thought these were a cute little Disney touch. I know both of them like frozen, so I picked these up for them. All right, and then the next thing that I got are these Jergens extra moisturizing hand wash and the cherry almond scent i love this stuff i've picked this up in a couple of a couple other dollar tree hauls but i'm using my last bottle currently so i decided to pick more up and this stuff is amazing it's moisturizing it smells really good i love it especially for a dollar and it's jergens so i just got two more bottles of them all right and then the next thing that i got from the health and beauty section are these kiss fashion glitter nails and these are like glue on nails i've never seen the kiss brand of these nails at the dollar tree before so yeah usually i use press on nails but i decided to pick these up because i thought these were really pretty like it the camera's not doing it justice but i thought i would pick these up and give them a try so i got those and then the last thing I got in the health and beauty section is this Wet n Wild Bare Necessities palette. And this gave me like the Urban Decay Naked palette vibes. And I just thought I would pick it up and give it a try because I love the Urban Decay Naked palette and this was only a dollar and I also like Wet n Wild so I picked that up. So we're going to get into the last section which is the office and like school section. So the first thing I picked up is this weekly planner and it, here I'll open it. It is 30 sheets, so 30 weeks. Um, and it comes, it has like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then like a checklist of things to do with throughout the week. And it, like, you can write the week of up here. And I thought this would be perfect because I like to write everything down of like things I have to do. And this is like the perfect thing, especially because I am a teacher. I can like write this out for the whole week and just keep it on my desk and like see what I'm doing that entire week. So I got this for next year because it's almost the end of the school year. So I picked this up for next year. They had a bunch of different styles of this, but I liked this 
layout for the days a lot better. So I picked up this one. All right, and then the next thing that I got are just some shipping labels. And I got these because I have a Poshmark, which it's linked down below if you're interested. And um, I like these because they fit perfectly into my printer and I can just like print the shipping label right onto this and then like stick it onto the package instead of cutting it out and taping it. So there's 18 in each one and I picked up three more. The next two things I got are for my classroom for next year. And the first thing that I got is this magnetic whiteboard erase eraser and it's a cat in a hat and it like sticks to your whiteboard and it's an eraser and I just thought this concept was really cool because you know how many whiteboard erasers I lose in a year um so to have it stuck directly on my whiteboard or stuck directly I think I said stuck anyways to have it stuck directly on my whiteboard I thought it would be like perfect so I got this for next year and then I also got this um Dr. Seuss decorative like border for like a bulletin board and it has the cat in the hat yurtle the turtle um sam i am fox and socks thing one and thing two horton here's a who the other guy from green eggs and ham and then these dudes i don't know who these guys are but it has all those on like the things and i thought this would be perfect for a border for dr seuss week i just thought it would be cute and i've never seen this border at the dollar tree before and I actually went to a different Dollar Tree than I normally go to today. And they had like a huge Dr. Seuss section. So I picked this up for Dr. Seuss week for next year. And then the next thing that I got for my classroom for next year are these magnets. They're like arrows. And I thought this would be perfect for like, to like point to something on your whiteboard. So I picked up a pack of these. All right. And then there's three. Nope. There's four more things. So the next thing that I got is this, it says it's a memo holder, but this will be perfect for post-it notes. And I, currently I just have like a stack of post-it notes sitting on my desk. So I got this to like set my post-it notes in. And then the next thing I got is this pen holder and it's like, like iridescent or like whenever I see this, I think of um, simply analogical and unicorn skin. But it's like iridescent. It's really hard to show. But I got the blue iridescent one. And I've never seen them there before. I think this is new. But I just thought this was really cute. I'm probably going to use this in my office and not at school. But I just picked that up. And then the next thing that I got is this little magnetic box. And it like opens and you can put stuff in it. And then it like sticks to something. So I don't know what I'm going to use this for. But I've never seen this blue one before. So I decided to pick it up today. And I'm either going to use it on my fridge and put like stuff in it for my fridge or I will bring it to school and put stuff in it and stick it to my whiteboard. I haven't decided yet. And then the last thing that I got is this desk organizer and it's like a marble desk tray and this is like pretty heavy. Like this is a good quality tray and I thought this was super cute so I had to pick it up. And if you saw my moving vlog, I got one of these from Target last summer when I moved into my house. And it was like three or five dollars or something. It did come, it was like this part was separate and then this part was separate. So it was like two separate trays. But it's nowhere near as like good quality. Like I can't even bend this. This is like really thick and good quality. And the Target one I got is not like this. So this is super cute and it's super good quality. And also if you happen to see, like if you wanted one of these from Target and then didn't get it, they have them at the Dollar Tree now and I think it's much better. So I picked one of these up and I don't know what I'm gonna use it for yet, but I couldn't leave it there. <laughs> All right, so that is everything that I got at the Dollar Tree today. I know this was a long one. But I got a ton of stuff. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit subscribe down below. I post a ton of haul videos. And like I said, I'm going to be, do I'm documenting my life as a first time homeowner. So I have a lot of like home videos and like 
decor and like haul videos and since the summer is coming up and I will be off of work I will be doing a lot of like updates to my home and like decorating my backyard for the first time and redoing my bathroom so I'm going to be filming all of that so if you are interested in seeing that stuff make sure to subscribe because it's coming over the summer once school is over I'm also going to be getting back into posting twice a week once school is over <laughs> so make sure to subscribe um, another thing I'm going to be posting is like travel videos. So if you like travel videos, once again, make sure to subscribe. Thank you again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up and also leave a do comment down below of like what your favorite thing is to find at the Dollar Tree. And make sure to turn on my post notifications so you get notified every time I upload a video. And also feel free to follow me on social media. They are all linked down below in the description box. Thank you guys again. I hope you all have an amazing day and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.